Hello everyone, welcome back. So in our Selenium with Java tutorial series, today we are going to see the information or the introduction about test ng what is exactly test ng why do we need to use it and then few of the features of test ng we will be seeing today okay so test ng now what is exactly a test ng so it's a unit testing framework for java developers so it means that the people who is going to develop something or use the java programming language then they can use the test ng as a unit testing framework okay now what it does so it runs our tests in a guided manner means whatever test you are creating that test you can run it in a particular manner okay so what was the problem with the uh, classic way like we were we used to do public static void main and we used to write everything right let's talk about as a automation engineer and how did we write the different things so for an instance this is a safari browser test right which we have already learned so here you will see we were using simple java class one file and a class and then we were using public static void main and here one test we used to keep it in one main method let's say that if you have a long test cases are there or multiple test cases you want to define then you cannot do with the main method right because it will be long enough to write all the test cases in one main method and then the debugging would be difficult so for this reason test ng came into the place where you you can execute the test cases in a guided manner okay now we will try to understand a little bit more details in our upcoming sessions about the guided manner but I will talk about just about this concept okay now it's called as the test next generation so it means that there is already an available Java unit testing framework is there that is JUnit it is just another framework like your test ng but test ng just came out uh, uh, a bit more featured uh, packed from JUnit okay so few of the advantages of using the test ng it's a user friendly annotations so you will get couple of annotations that will help you to write your test cases another thing is that it's a data driven testing so if you have any test data you can mention into the test ng and it will pick up the test ng test data so you should you need not to rely on any of the uh, what you call external files okay support for parameters so you can use your own parameterization so i will show you that later and group wise test cases so let's say that you have 100 to 200 test cases are there and you want to group it so in the sense let's say that if you have uh, 10 test cases for login scenario 15 test cases for like let's say theme setup and then for uh, for sign out or account details you have another set of test cases you can group these similar test cases into a group and you can run those test cases based on the group so that you if, when you execute it will not execute your entire suite or the number of test cases so that is one oh, one controlled way it is providing parallel test run let's say that if your test cases are increasing day by day a lot and then it is taking more time and which is making a more pressure and time consuming on your servers you can use the parallelization of the test ng and it can execute the test cases in less time as compared to when you run them in sequence okay and allow dependency on one test on another so it means that let's say that you will make sure you will tell to the test ng that if the login related test cases are working fine then you proceed further because that's the minimum requirement right so you can do that so one test case passed then only you proceed with the other ones so that uh, feature is also available support to enable or dis disable the test run so it means that whenever let's say that a couple of test cases you want to disable it you really don't need to comment all the test cases right you can just comment the annotation and then this will not run your test case okay so there are even annotations uh, provided to what you call to support these features which we just discussed okay now let's go to the official documentation and see how we can download the test ng okay so let me go to this documentation 
and then you can see it is testng.org so there it's the official documentation and if you want to include the let me just maximize this one okay so if you want to include uh, the maven dependency because testng is just another java plugin right uh, java dependency so you can take this one copy this and then paste it into your pom.xml and you are ready to go if you are using gradle you have even a gradle dependencies are available you can use that so talk about plugins so whether you are using eclipse or your intellij you need the eclipse plugin actually okay so for uh, for your intellij the plugin is somewhere here so if you go to your intellij ide go to your menu and then prefer Preferences if you are using Mac and if you are using like let's say that Windows then you have to go to the file preferences you will get uh, the details okay okay so if you come back here you search here plugins okay so you see here plugins folder is there you search for test ng and you can see it is bundled bundled in the sense when you are installing your intellij the test ng is coming by default so that's one of the benefit of using your intellij editor if you are using eclipse not to worry about that this test ng has a good documentation you can go to the help install new software you can click on that give this site url there and then when you check this checkbox and click on the next this will install the test ng plugin on your eclipse even you can go to the marketplace and you can install by clicking on the test ng icon from there from the marketplace so any of these options you can use it to install the eclipse plugin so that's from the editor side but if you want to you want to even install the plugin for or the dependency of the pom.xml into the pom.xml right how we were doing with selenium with java the same thing for this what you need to do you need to go to the maven repository okay and come back here and you search your test ng and you can see org.testng and you will see all the latest available 7.4.0 is your latest just copy this entire one and then paste it here oops sorry it didn't copy well yeah you can do here and then you can see it's just and then you save it go to this maven disable the test so that it won't execute actually i don't have any test ng test but this option basically when you when you install something it even executes the test ng test so that's why i was telling to disable this option skip test actually it's saying and then you can just click on install this will install all your dependencies and at this moment we have added the test ng dependency so that's where it installed everything and just to make sure that it installed properly what you can do go right click on this go to the maven and make sure you do reload project okay and once you do that and it finished you will see there is one thing let's go to the org dot test ng you can see this option is created here it means that the test ng is now available to this project okay so plugin is for the editor and then the test ng dependency is for your current project okay to deal with that now let's see the note what else it is saying maven dependency we have seen as i told the test ng provides couple of annotations to support these features or to run your test cases in a guided manner so there are a couple of things it is giving uh, so let's go from the uh, bottom actually so it's the test so test means the actual test that is executing so you can write a method like a normal method you write all the logic in that method and you annotate that method by using a at the rate test so that particular method will become your test ng method okay so when you right click on this one it will say run as test ng i will show you that in a moment okay so let's say that there are couple of steps that you want to perform before actually exactly executing this particular test you can use after method and before method before method will execute the logic whatever you have written just before executing this actual test so this is your actual test case before means it will just run before your this run 
let's say that you have performed the before method ran and then after that the actual test case run now the after test after method will run after that let's say that you are logging in here to the application you are performing certain validation into this at the rate test you are logging out into the after method that's the basic sample scenario you can think of there is another one just move ahead a bit and you can see before class and after class and the before class and after class will basically execute before running any of the test methods onto that class so in a particular class you can have multiple at the rate test classes at the rate test methods so it's not limited that in one java file in one class you can have only one at the rate test you can have multiple at the rate test okay so let's say that in your dot java or you have created a class file or a class which is consisting about five different at the rate test then before executing even uh, those five test cases first before class will execute then for each test case the before method will be executing and then the same process goes for the after class also so after class will execute after all of your test cases executed for that particular class okay so that is what you need to remember so that's what it is telling the annotated method will run before the first test method in the current class so if you have five test cases so before running the first test case this before class will be running now after class will run after all of your test cases run after that after class will be running it's that simple so method is related to one single test class is related to one class that you have specified the same thing you have before groups and after groups let's say if you have specific groups that you have created it so before executing a specific group this particular before group will be executing as the name suggests and after it will execute after all of your test cases related to that group executed okay and the same thing if we will go ahead a bit uh, up level then you will see something called as a test so what uh, the test ng is designed based on a test ng xml actually so you can run individual test cases by going to the editor right click on the at the rate test you can run there is another way to execute multiple test cases at once and we say that as a test ng xml which looks like this actually so just before uh, I just bypassed a bit because I have to talk to you guys what is this test ng XML that would make it easy to understand the after test uh, I mean the test level and shoot level so after test and before test doesn't relate to your at the rate test okay and don't get confused between after method before method and the test actually so let me first go to the test ng XML so here you can see it's pretty much similar to your test cases manual test cases we are using right let's say you have created one XML file on your project folder you have copy pasted entirely this one let's understand a bit about this internal things okay so you can see the whole test case shoot is called as a shoot tag actually because it's an xml so we have to deal with the elements right inside an xml so the first one is shoot shoot is consisting of number of test cases okay and it can have a name and then you can run it parallel or something just ignore at this moment now each shoot can consist of different test scenarios not the test cases i'm talking it is the test scenarios actually for an instance the there could be one test which can include multiple test cases related to the login functionality another test tag or test element can relate to the account information or your profile information anything any module of your application now each test again can be divided into multiple classes and each class can be divided into multiple at the rate test annotations that is the actual test case so it is like the upper level is shoot each shoot can have multiple tests each test can have multiple classes each class can have multiple test cases okay so that is how it is defined fine now that's where actually the before test is coming into the picture now before test and after test basically focusing into this test tag actually so let's say you have 10 test cases under this test name 
and there are 15 test cases under this test tag means the before test will execute before running any of the test cases related to this test so because i have two test elements here the before test will execute two times one just before this execution another one will execute before running any of the test cases under this test that is how it is designed actually now before shoot and after shoot it is basically referring to this shoot level let's say that if you have irrespective of how many test tags how many classes whatever it is there if you have one shoot element in this test ng xml then before te before shoot will execute once and after executing all of your test cases related to this shoot, the after shoot will be executing. It is that simple. Okay. But before uh, what you call going ahead with this, whenever you are talking about the before test or shoot, make sure that you visualize the test ng XML structure. Okay. And these individual things are related to your what you call the individual test cases. Means if in your class, let's say that if you have multiple test cases are there, then you can specify. So these are actually referring to a package. Let's say that this is my test ng sample package. Inside this package, package I have TC1 is a uh, class okay so I always make sure that each Java file will have only one class so that's how you got another one entry let's say that if you have three different classes are there TC1 TC2 and TC3 you can mention you can even have multiple what you call classes in one test scenario and you can have one or more uh, classes in another test okay so it can have one or multiple classes in this now each class even you can divide into multiple methods as well we will talk about this test ng xml into a lot more details but just to understand these annotations you have to visualize or imagine this particular xml file so now you might have got a uh, situation where what is this exactly this guider helping to run the tests in a guided manner and uh, to support this feature test ng is providing all these features okay let me show you a quick demo about how exactly to write a test ng class and then how we can run it from a basic test ng method actually so for this actually what i'm going to do uh, the first thing you need to make sure that the plugin is installed second thing the dependency is installed and it is updating into your library then let's go ahead and create a new package and let me just right click package let's say that test ng okay test ng learning and then under this package let me create a new java class and let's make it as tc1 okay now here what you can do i don't i won't be writing public static void main here so i will be writing a normal method which return type would be void and then uh, make sure that it is in public and void the signature of the test ng test method and then here you say test sample one okay some name you can give and then you go ahead but this is a normal method right if i right click let's write some statement here my first test ng test i can write like this if i'm right clicking you can see there is no option to write to run this directly right how do i run it so as i told to make any method as a test ng method you need to put this annotation and you can see it is coming from annotation. let's import this one you can see here now you will see one magic when I'm right clicking on this you can see one option is coming which says that run test sample that is nothing but your test uh, at the rate test or that is the test ng test now if I click on this and you can see it even printed the what you call whatever you have wanted to print and it even gives you how many test cases ran how many got failed we will see in more details about this one in our upcoming sessions but yeah that's pretty much uh, it about your test ng introduction and uh, a little bit more information about what are the features available but uh, stay tuned we will see some more test ng topics in detail which will help you to build a good framework okay so Thank you for watching and stay tuned.